What's it about? What's that? What's it about? What's, uh, oh, here. There you go. So, uh, I think it's a good one. There you go, that's what it's about. Well, 60,000? No, 60 million. Well, I'm, I hadn't got to that part yet. Yeah, 60,000 60, here in Texas every year. Oh, just in Texas. Year. Just in Texas. It's the number one cause of death in Texas. I got this. I got so, this. Uh, so y'all are here. Uh, is this church with it? With no. abortion? No. Yeah. It's just no. a bunch of Christians, so we hand out information about it, try to bring awareness. To, oh, I got the okay. You know, so this like, is what we're handing out. You go to a good man's house for help, right? You go to people that are Christians. Like we right. wouldn't want to go to like a Satanist or right. you know, like it. you know, so because most Christians I'm not saying you're a Christian, but say if you were a Christian, most right. likely you've never done anything in your whole life to make abortion help to make abortion illegal. You may be a like in your mind, well, I'm for life. Right. But basically what happens in our churches today, because it is the number one cause of death. It's kind of like if a woman was getting raped over there and we would sit here and go, I'm against that. Mm -hmm. But not doing do anything, anything about, about it. it. Right. right. So as godly men, men of the, at the gates that are supposed to protect our towns, not, not just you, but us right. too, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. um, when there's evil happening, in our towns, we should oppose it. We should do things that'll help right. make it illegal. And we're doing that. This uh, HB right here. So you want it to be illegal for abortion? Well, actually, Completely HB illegal. 948 was written by Tony Tinderholt, representative in Arlington, okay. and it makes it totally illegal. Life is protected at conception. Well, I think Trump's trying to do that too, isn't he? No, he just wants to defund and uh, um, some other things, but. Totally illegal. Yeah, Tony so like, Tinderholt wrote yeah. this bill. I'm with you. I'm good. And there's seven you other the legislators. I did. Oh, okay. And seven yeah. other legislators have co sponsored. So in fact, Tony Tinderholt was placed under state protection today. Now, this death is threats. only for Texas then. This yeah, is only we're doing Texas. it in quite a few states right now. Yeah, I think we have Alaska, 13 states Ohio, where Florida. we have bills going forth right now. All right. With my kids. Yeah. These are all your kids. Not me. I'm the wife. <laughs> yeah, the wife. Yeah. Well, that's good. Check this out. In Texas, there's 13,000 kids in foster care waiting to be adopted. There's 23,000 kids in foster care. Right. But 13,000 of them can be adopted, but nobody wants older kids. I understand that. And so I we go really to the churches and we say, in the communities, Christians, and say, how do we have 30,000 churches in Texas and 13,000 kids waiting to be adopted? Mm -hmm. How is that? How do we have 70,000 pastors? Right. And 13,000 kids just waiting, you know? I wish I had some stickers for y'all, but I don't have any here. That's why, that's why, that's why. But my that other officer, you know. Take him on a ride on the motorcycle. We don't have them. We're not allowed to ride them after dark. Uh, it's safer. So, but that, the other officer, you know, he's like, oh, you know, you're not allowed to be here unless you have a permit. And I'm right. like, and that's the way Greg Bond operates, and we yeah. like to follow rules and all that kind of stuff. But, but that's for, uh, that's not for freedom of speech. Right. So, you know, he was he was really trying to use his authority to, you know. I'm we trying know, to understand what, what yeah. everything's here for. We, we were told that this there is was just some prominent, a big deal. Yeah, these are just some prominent pastors. I got it. And we're just two abolitionists with my kids and wife right. that that's just want to hand out the flyers. In fact, we had tickets. We got tickets to go. Yeah. And they said, no, you can't come in. So they know y'all? Yeah. They know. Oh, well, we're yeah. abolitionists. Everybody in Texas. Because you, you've been to yeah. their events before. Yeah. we. Well, got we, we uh, I've got it too. <laughs> pretty cool, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that, that's basically what's going on. Like we, go, okay. we stand out in front of all the churches, mm -hmm. um, all the Christian events. We go to town squares, you know, right. and stuff like that. Hold up. You know, just trying to get your word out. Just exposing it. Because most people are ignorant of it. Or if they're not ignorant of it, they're kind of apathetic. Yeah, they don't say something. I got you. Uh, I got you. So anyway, that's that's what we're doing. So, right. you know. Well, yeah, I told Rohit. She too. stuck it right in his face. Yeah. No, I'm, joking. I'm not worried about it. <laughs> Doug, guess what? We found another abolitionist car. I got more than car. you did. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we found an abolitionist car. I know. I met an abolitionist that went yeah, in. Yeah, we're asking people to call their legislators and get tell them to get behind this bill because this would make abortion illegal. No, uh, so do y'all? Uh, <laughs> no, she's all right. So y'all, you don't know if they're actually for abortion or no, against, they're against abortion. Okay. They're pro life. You, you go to a Christian okay. and ask for a Christian. What do you go to a heathen? You just want to make the law completely illegal. 
Right. Well, okay. and, and, and they do too, but they do in concept, but not in deed. Yes. You know, they're and, not wanting to. And when I say them, say, this well, is what I'm, not, I'm not talking about everybody. I'm just saying that there are people who are apathetic mm -hmm. that should be looking at it or thinking about it, and that's right. what we do. We make them think about it. Right. So we're not saying everybody that you're not a Christian if you don't actively I oppose understand. abortion. Yeah. We're just saying enough people need to actively oh, yeah. oppose abortion to make it illegal. So you're not here really protesting. You're not protesting at all. You're, you're here to get out a little more information. I know how that reads, but <laughs> but you're here to put out more information than anything. Yeah. Okay, I got you. So what'd y'all eat for supper? Um, chicken. Thank you. Chicken, chicken soup, and spaghetti. Ooh, spaghetti? That's the good stuff. Uh-oh, what'd they put in there? Cow Mom liver. Mom liver in there. Oh, no, not liver. <laughs> That's unchristian. Did you eat liver? <laughs> I didn't even know what it is. Oh, well, I'm not going to tell you then. Yeah. They did, huh? Did you like it, huh? Aiden. Yeah, you can't taste Aiden. it with the ragu or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. How old are you? Nine. Nine? How old are you? I know, I talked to you. I don't know. I don't My know. daughter's 12. Like and she's about this tall. <laughs> How old are you? 14. All right. Where do you go to school? Stafford. Oh, Frisco? Wow, y'all come a long way. How old are you? Not in Texas, right? <laughs> oh, no. Six when I go to Roberts. Six and you go to Roberts? Robertson. Robertson Elementary? Yep. All right. Are you in kindergarten? No, first. First grade? I remember first grade. It was a long time ago, but you know, first grade's good. You missed your nap. <laughs> oh, naps in school? Yeah. I didn't want to take one, but now I do. I like naps. I like like two or three naps a day. <laughs> uh, how long are y'all planning on staying? Uh, just uh, tell everything. I want to watch the movie. Yeah, I think they're they're getting. I want to watch it, but anyway, I appreciate the information. It's not a big deal. So you heard it was going to be a big deal with us out here. Today. No, no, no. We just didn't. Oh, oh okay. man. These are my new my new friend friends. Hi, how are y'all? How you doing? Is that your wife? No. No, I'm just no, friends. Yeah, we're just we're just friends. So, uh, but yeah, they're fixing to get started, and and uh, yeah, we we didn't know what it was. We actually got told uh, that uh, ten minutes ago, probably. Well, I've been talking to y'all about ten minutes. So, uh, what is that? Hey, there's there's a deal going on at the palace, and and there's there could possibly be a protest. We didn't know what it was, but. Now we know. So yeah, I'm going to go back this, and this say. This is not a protest. Yeah, well, that's what it says. But, <laughs> that's what it says. But 